Okay, so now we'll be discussing yung ating uh, lesson 1 for our module 1, which is Introduction to Financial Management. So, introduce natin, i-review natin muna ulit yung financial management natin, and of course, the, the function of finance. And, uh, i-relate natin yung work of a financial controllership under the work of the finance. And, i-distinguish natin basically work ng controllership versus yung treasurership. Okay? So, ano ba yung financial management? Basically, financial management is a process of planning decisions in order to maximize wealth. Now, financial managers have a vital role in cash management, acquisition of funds, and in all aspects of raising and allocating financial capital, taking into consideration the trade-off between risk and rewards. So, basically, ito yung mga function na inaano natin. No? Of course, kung saan tayo kukuha ng funds and kung saan natin gagamitin yung funds. Okay? taking into consideration yung, of course, risk and reward trade-off. So, goals of corporate finance include shares, shareholders wealth maximization, profit maximization, managerial reward maximization, behavior goals, and social responsibility. Okay. Ngayon, dito tayo normally nagkakaroon ng uh, uh, issue no? when it comes to shareholder wealth maximization versus profit. Uh, maximization. Ano ba yung difference nitong dalawa na to? Okay? Pag sinabi natin profit maximization, it's basically short term goal. Ibig sabihin, ito yung one year. Kumbaga, sa ating uh, financial statement, ito yung bottom line ng ating income statement, which is the net income or profit or loss. So, dito sa profit maximization, no, basically, nakafocus siya doon sa current operations natin. No? So, paano ba natin ma-maximize yung profit? It's either papatasin natin yung sales, dagdagan yung sales or i-minimize natin yung expenses, no? Basically that's the focus of profit maximization. Ayan, no? Interpreted, I mean the maximization of profits with given period. So normally one year yan dun sa ating period sa financial statements. Ngayon in contrast, shareholder wealth naman maximization is long-term goal. Normally makikita natin to dun sa stock prices. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin shareholder wealth maximization, the target here is mag-increase yung price ng shares no, in the market. So, paano yan? Maraming factors kasi. No? First of all, it's a long-term goal unlike sa ating <coughs> unlike sa ating profit maximization na short term. Although, yung profits natin could also affect yung prices ng shares natin in the stock market. But basically, a lot of factors to be considered just like yung fundamentals ng isang company no? hindi lang yung profitability kinoconsider din natin dyan yung stability, growth no? ng isang company so yun yung sa shareholder wealth maximization uh, yun yung sa kanya naman no? ngayon uh, dalawa ito, both of this are of course kinoconsider ng ating Uh, ng ating financial manager no? not just the profit but also of course yung stock market prices nung shares natin okay, short term versus long term goal and uh, next now, financial decisions and risk return trade off nung pag sinabi natin na risk return trade off this is a very basic concept no, sa finance wherein ang sinasabi natin, of course, high risk, high reward. Uh, low risk, low reward. So, just like sa gambling. ba diba? Sa gambling, if malaki yung chances na matatalo ka, normally, malaki rin naman yung magiging reward or balik. Pag normally, 1 is to 1 lang siya, 1 is to 1 lang din balik. No? It's, kunyari, let's say, 50-50 lang yan. 50% you will win, 50% you will lose, 1 is to 1. So, basically, maliit lang din yung babalik sa iyo no kasi maliit lang din eh 50-50 lang din yung chance of losing no or winning pero if <coughs> let's say malaki yung choices sa gambling or maraming choices siya marami yung possibility of outcomes uh, pag marami yung malaki yung chances mo doon na malugi therefore or matalo therefore malaki din yung binabalik sa iyo na na panalo no na ganun din yung basically yung concept natin sa finance no? sa financial management ngayon itong trade off na to is really part of the finance no? very integral siya. pag sinabi nating risk it refers to the variability of expected returns so, na, ano ko lang na type ko na returns, sales, earnings or cash flows 
and is the probability that financial problem will affect the business enterprise operations performance or financial position so pag sinabi natin this basically kasi no meron tayong mga expectations na ginagawa no meron tayong uh, mga kinocompute na ito dapat yung magiging no magiging return magiging cash flow sales so, so basically yung possibility na hindi natin ma-meet kung ano yung ating expectation yun yung sinasabi natin dito na risk okay Now let's go with the importance of finance. No? So importance of finance for managers to have knowledge of finance and to know how to apply it successfully whether in production, marketing, personal operations and other aspects of business enterprise functioning. Financial knowledge aids in planning, problem solving, decision making. Well basically nga sinabi na no, finance is the bloodline of the business. Kasi we're talking here of money, no, yung pera. Basically, yung pera yung nagpapagalaw doon sa company natin. Pag wala tayong pera, basically, hindi tayo makakagalaw. Hindi tayo makabili ng inventories natin. Hindi tayo makasweldo ng mga tao. Hindi tayo makabili ng mga property plants and equipments natin. So on and so forth. Okay? So, as blood is important sa ating mga tao, ganun din yung pera sa business. No? So, kailangan you have the knowledge no being future financial managers you should have the knowledge of this finance of course kasi ginagamit natin yan sa planning problem solving and the uh, decision making further the finance manager must have financial and accounting knowledge in order to be able to understand syempre yung mga reports especially later no we'll be having uh, computations like fs analysis budgeting and cbp analysis So, may mga certain ano tayo doon, terminologies, mga accounts na gagamitin natin. So, dapat naiintindihan natin yung at least uh, knowledge of accounting no? para maintindihan natin yung reports and then we'll be able to interpret those financial reports as well. Okay, so kaya importante no? as financial managers, syempre dapat uh, alam natin yung accounting and finance. And yung scope, no? ng finance natin. The language and decision making of finance. The finance manager should master the finance vocabulary. O yung mga terminologies na no, sabi natin kanina. In order to comprehend financial data, to know how to utilize yung data effectively, and kung paano din tayo mag-communicate about the quantitative aspects of performance and result. So sabi natin kanina, kailangan na intindihan din natin. No? Yun yung mga finance vocabulary or mga terminologies no sa accounting and finance so that we could understand and interpret and make proper decisions no with regards to this matter what and why financial managers must know product pricing planning and balance analysis ito sa ibang financial management niyo siguro to na subject no so kung sa financial management i would have uh, discussed itong mga variance analysis So, yung planning, budgeting natin, and CVP analysis are basically part of this. Ta? They must learn how to manage asset and optimize rate of return. Yan. Sa iba, din, nagdi-discuss din sana ako ng uh, risk and return. Kasi lang, we are limited to 3 units. So, medyo bin binawasan ko yung supposedly dadagdagan ko sana na topic. Okay, yung trade-off of risk and return. Sa so, financial management, nagtuturo din tayo doon ano, kung paano mag-compute ng expected return tapos meron din tayong quantifying the risk dapat familiar ka sa budgeting i-discuss natin ito no? handling of productive assets and the financial strengths and weaknesses ito medyo ma-encounter natin ito sa financial statement analysis no? we'll be talking of ano yung status ng company natin no? by looking at its uh, financial statements <coughs> Okay, so ano ba yung ginagawa nyo, no? As financial managers. So, nag-analyze, nagpa-plano, making investment decisions. <coughs> sa capital budgeting, supposed to be, no? Uh, sa ibang financial management subjects, siguro yan. So, making financing and capital structure decisions. Ito, didiscuss ko sana yung capital structure, no? Kasi lang, uh, medyo, masyado na marami yung topics natin, eh. Pero sa ibang financial management, I could have discussed this. Okay financial resources sa uh, working capital management and yung risk management okay 
financial managers affect shareholder wealth. Ito na mention natin no yung sa, sa stockholders wealth kanina, maximization. So ano ba yung basically nagiging impact ng financial manager doon sa pag-attain ng sabi natin na ano na yon. Okay? So first current and future earnings per share, na? At may computation naman tayo later ng earnings per share na to. Which basically, yun na nga, no? we'll be talking here of the per share, which have an impact dun sa market price of the shares. Okay, timing, duration, and risk of earnings, so risk and return na mention natin kanina. Sa mga dividends, no? basically, meron din effect to sa stock prices. Uh, if I could have discussed sa capital markets, para iba yung teacher, no? Uh, pag nag-discuss yun sa financial markets, capital markets, sa stock markets doon. Normally, dinidiscuss ko yung mga different factors affecting the stock prices. And the uh, manner of financing. No? Kung saan tayo kukuha ng pera. Now, ito na. Controllership versus treasurership. Ngayon, uh, kung titignan natin kasi no, yung structure ng isang company. Um, uh, let's try to illustrate here using yung pain. Yeah. Ngayon, syempre of course sa pinakataas, we have here the BOD, no? Which is elected by the stockholders. Among which, syempre manajan yung uh, chairman and also the president, no? Which is the chief executive officer. Sometimes minsan yung iba iba yung president normally deals with the board uh, pero iba rin yung chief executive officer so depende lang pero let's take them as the same no? so no dyan yung president ngayon dyan sa president minsan merong executive vice president which is the head of all the different presidents uh, vice presidents or minsan diretso so diretso yun na natin ito yung ibang vice presidents no Marami yan, depende dun sa areas of operations. Merong pwedeng marketing and sales. Merong production and administration. No? And iba-ibang ano. Let's say na dito, meron tayo ditong VP for Finance. Yan. Normally, syempre na dito tayo pasok. Vice President for Finance. Ngayon, dito sa Vice President for Finance, meron pa yung dalawang function under sa kanya. No? O, may dalawang tao pa. Si controller at si treasurer. Basically, controller, syempre yung work na sa controllership. No? And of course, treasurer, treasurership yung work niya. Under sila both na vice president for finance. Now, bakit kailangan silang i-separate? No? Uh, later, we'll be discussing more on the uh, concept of internal control. Doon, mas, mas ma-appreciate yun. Pero let's talk about here, no? yung separate functions ng controllership and treasurership. So, controller, muna tayo. No? So, the controller's function are primarily an internal nature include uh, record keeping, tracking, and controlling the financial effects. Basically, ito yung pinag-uusapan natin focus ng iyong work na or ng subject natin, controllership. Effects of prior and current operations. The internal matters of importance to the controller include financial and managerial accounting, taxes, internal control, and <coughs> audit functions. So basically, when we talk about the controller's function, normally, nandun yan sa accounting and reporting. No? Yung mga processes, yung mga information systems, database management, yung uh, yeah, internal control, yung reporting to the government or yung taxes natin, and yung audit. So basically yun yung focus ng controllership, no? Normally yung controller, the role na ginagawa niya sa company is that when may business decision na gagawin yung ating mga yung ating company, no? Yung mga man yung management. Pag may gagawing decision making normally, kailangan nila ng information, no? So normally they request the controller to furnish certain information or report na nagagamitin para sa decision making niyan. Basically, yung ginagawa niya, reporting, no, or record keeping. Ginagawa ng controller. Na sa treasurer naman in contrast with the uh, uh, con 
controller sa treasurer naman, primarily external. The treasurer obtains and manages corporate corporation's capital and involved with creditors, shareholders, investors, underwriters, bond issuances, and governmental regulatory bodies. Okay, so basically naman, when it comes to the treasurer, ang trabaho niya naman is custody and obtaining of finances. No? Uh, yung controller, ang trabaho niya sabi natin kanina, record keeping and uh, reporting. No? Well, sa treasurer, ang trabaho niya naman is obtaining money and yung custody of money. So, internal control will be discussing later the importance of which. No? Dapat ma-separate natin yung record keeping and yung ating uh, custody function nung pera natin. No? And it's very important. Dilisas natin later yan sa internal control which is one of your uh, work or issue as a controller. So, dito sa baba, meron tayong uh, uh, list ng work ng controller. No? Basically, controllers on accounting, reporting, financial information, cost of the records, sabi natin, record keeping, and interpreting, no? yung pagpa-furnish ng mga data, budgeting, controlling operations, yan. Siyempre, pag may budget ka, gagamitin mo yun as a control. No? Uh, variance analysis is a very classic part. No? Appraising results and making recommendations, tax return, managing assets, <coughs> internal auditing, protecting assets, so internal control, very important. Yan. Reporting to governmental bodies, normal, especially sa, actually yung SEC, na ito kanina, no? Uh, it could be the work of a controller, especially pag nag-prepare ng financial reports, financial statement, and also for the BIR, no? yung for tax purposes. <coughs> and yung payroll. Not payroll na ikaw yung magdi-disburse ng pera, pero yung pag, ano, yung sistema nung payroll natin, yung process. Well, yung treasurer, yung work niya is ito, obtaining financing, yung pagkuha ng pera. Kaya, normally, yung sa creditor relationship kasama to, no? Financing, kung saan kukuha ng pera. Yung mga bond issuances, yung sa bank loans, then yung yan, na, trabaho ng ating treasurer. Banking relationships, nasa kanya kasi yung mga, ano natin, yung costo din ng cash. So, nasa kanya yung mga cash, uh, uh, what call it, pa mga passbooks, no, yung mga check eh, yung mga checkbook yan, nandiyan sa kanya investing, investor relations managing cash, insurance relationship with creditors and investors, appraising credit and collection function, yung credit and collection sa kanya rin siya no? because basically, pera yung pinag-uusapan natin dito, no? yung pagpautang natin sa, sa ating customers and pag-collect ng funds Okay, financing mix, disbursing dividends, and managing pension funds. <clears throat> Basically, yun yung work ng ating treasurer. So, dinistinguish lang natin, no? Kasi dito, we'll be focusing on this part, no? Work of the controller, no? Not the work. Of course, later, you could be a treasurer as well, no? Being a finance major. Pero since yung subject natin, controllership, so dito tayo nakafocus. Okay, relationship between accounting and finance, no? So, the, basically, yung ano naman nila is that uh, accounting is under the broader uh, discipline of finance. Okay? And, uh, basically, the distinction is the treatment of funds and decision making. But, basically, accounting is part pa rin naman siya ng finance. Okay? And basically, yung sa accumulation ng data natin, ginagamit din naman natin siya for interpreting the results. No? Or interpretation for decision making. Basically, pera lang naman siya. Nature. Okay? So, basically, that's lesson 1. No? Na ating module 1. Now, if you have uh, further, if you want to further, have further readings, uh, you could check the ebooks na ilalagay natin. Supposedly, dun sa USB nyo sana, no? Uh, or else, I'll be sending it to your G... Uh, I'll be sending it to the GC natin, no? And uh, if you have further questions, pwede nyo naman akong i-chat. Okay? So, yun lang. Bye!